So, um, yesterday I went to three clinics to get an EKG. And for whatever reason, none of them could take me. One was full, full to capacity. One wasn't a walk-in clinic and the other clinic was just closing and not taking new patients. So, um, I really feel like, um, damage was done to my heart from the benzo withdrawal. Um, I have orthopnea. I can't breathe laying down. Um, when the benzo withdrawal hit me, my all sorts of terrible medical things happened, but my feet and ankles swelled up like balloons and uh, couldn't breathe laying down and even walking. I would try to put my arms behind my back trying to fix something in here and right from the right from the word go I didn't know I was saying to doctors it's my heart or my lungs I had stabbing pains in my heart and lungs for the first few years of this benzo withdrawal um and I couldn't lift my I couldn't climb stairs at all couldn't lift my arms up to blow dry my hair or couldn't stand, didn't have the strength to stand to blow dry my hair or, or wash dishes. Dropped foot, loss of taste and smell. Lot, but, but you know, the swollen ankles and um, struggling to breathe. And I really, you know, severe apnea. But I, I really feel like my heart was damaged um, from the withdrawal. Um, the not sleeping, um, I had, you know, it's rare for me to get four hours of sleep. Maybe every six to eight weeks, I'll get one night of four hours of sleep. And, um, so last night and the night before I actually had, um, four hours of sleep but you know what happens when I used to feel good when I got four hours and then you know what it's like the longer I sleep I can feel worse because whatever's happening to me at while I'm asleep like whatever's happening to me while I'm asleep is feels like it's killing me so when I do, when I am able to achieve a couple hours of sleep, it's like whatever's happening to me was happening to me for longer. So I feel worse, kind of, you know? Um, you know what I mean? Like if something's bad, bad is happening to you for two hours a night, if it's happening to you for four hours, you feel worse. So I wonder if my heart is just dropping way too low. My heart is has dropped to 18 beats per minute with hospital equipment to 29 beats per minute with equipment owned by the healthcare system. So I really wonder if if I am in heart failure or heart heart disease. Absolutely, I think my heart was damaged from the benzo withdrawal. Um, but you know what? Prior to... Um, prior, well, you know, there's the whole point of them dropping the ball on and not diagnosing the sleep apnea for years. And that could have done damage to the heart. For a year prior to the benzo withdrawal, I was sleeping only one hour or two hours every 24 hours. So what was that from? Is that from heart failure already prior to the benzo withdrawal? Or severe, you know, already? Um, well, I know I'm certain I've had apnea for years that they would not diagnose. 
I had to diagnose myself and push and push them, push them for years. And then the apnea resulted into a, a, an absolute crisis. So I really do wonder if I'm in heart failure. Um, I had four hours of sleep. My mood is going to be great today. Um, but, you know, it's hard to breathe. It's like someone's standing on my chest. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm scared. I, I won't really wonder if it's heart failure or damage to the heart. I'm terrified. Not sure how to go about getting health care here. Um, I don't know where to, where to go.